So the English pressed on to the Azores. But another engagement with the Spanish. And a storm. Made it out of the question for them to attack it. So Drake carefully gathered what was left. And after Norrie sailed back home with the sick and wounded, he carried on with some 2,000 men and 20 ships. He sailed down to the island of Madeira, where he waited off the coast for a treasure ship or two that might happen to venture by. But while waiting there, guess what happened? Go ahead, guess what happened? Yeah, you guessed it. I guess you could call this one the Catholic wind. So, with even attacking a treasure fleet out of the question, Drake did the only thing he could. He attacked an insignificant outpost on the island and made away with a measly booty. Oh, and his flagship, the Revenge, sprung a leak and nearly sank en route back to England. The final tally! 40 ships lost or captured. That's five more than the Spanish Armada lost the year before. Eleven thousand to fifteen thousand Ingloids killed. A comparable number to how many men died aboard the Spanish Armada. England's treasury depleted. Ooh, I can tell you, the old hag wasn't happy about that one. <laughs> Total loss of confidence for any future expeditions. Oh yeah. And Drake's reputation was dog. <laughs> Objectives. Sink the Spanish Armada anchored off Santander. <laughs> Out Spain from Portugal. <laughs> Conquer the Azores. <laughs> On his return to England, Drake was demoted the Coast Guard patroller. Turns out the Earl of Sussex wasn't even authorized to go on the trip. Way to crash an armada invasion party, Earl. On the Spanish side, only about 800 killed, two ships sunk, and one small fishing village burnt. Objectives for them. Maintain sea supremacy. Keep the armada safe during refit and keep their valuables safe from impoverished little English rats. The Spanish invented a sophisticated convoy system, which has actually gone down in history as one of the most successful naval operations in the history of naval operations. In nearly 300 years, it would only lose a handful of ships to actual piracy. And it is the forerunner backbone to the modern day global sea transit system. By 1600, the Spanish were bringing in three times more silver than they ever had before. And they successfully upgraded the Spanish Armada, which proved to be more than a match for the English. Which leads me into my next video, the Battle of Flores.